going on, Antoine Bethea? Safety for the New York Giants. And you know I'm here in Heritage High School right now, man. And um, obviously we're here for the Rise Summit, man. And you know, um, just coming here talking to the youngest man, just about the importance of of, of, of your peers, your surroundings, on um, what it what it means to be dedicated to your to your craft. And um, you know, just just here to give it back, man. That's what I love to do, man. Anything I can do to give back to our community, Newport News. Um, and now obviously what Tommy represents the city on my chest and that's what it is, that's what it's all about. You know, repping, repping, Newport News, um, uptown, downtown, whatever the case may be. And um, wherever we go um, across the U.S., um, repping our city, Newport News, 757, one of the best. And, um, and that's what it is. Right, one thing I do want to say, bro, I appreciate you coming down here. My dog was in Atlanta, bro. I hit him like, yo, I'm speaking this weekend. I'm thinking he had the crib. He like, bro, I'm in the A, but let me see. I'm like, nah, bro, you ain't got to nah. He's like, nah, bro, I'm going to hit you back. Next thing I know, he calling me at the airport like, yo, yeah. I'm about to hop on this flight. I'm like, yo, I appreciate y'all. That's, That's love. That's love. That's love. Like, What's you going know? on, world? Sim Serenade. My boy T.I. City on my chest. This is the Rise Conference out in Newport News, VA, Heritage High School. So, uh... I'm thankful for this opportunity to come and inspire with my brother. Me and T.R. and I grew up from, you know, little kids to now, entrepreneurs doing what we do. And, uh, you know, the whole motive and mission is to educate and empower and tell these guys about some of our trials and tribulations that they make and grow from. So, you know, uh, basically linking with T.R. And him introducing me to this opportunity. Your network is your network, so I'm very thankful for the opportunity. It's the Rise Conference, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. I'm kind of new to this element. Like I've been doing camps and giving back, but as far as really diving into it, like you, you two, the dudes I think about. Like when I met you, I'm like, yo, this dude in the community. Then I'm, I'm, I'm like, nah, no, he out there. Yeah, out here. Like yo, yeah. he really out. I'm like yo, I'm trying to model my joint after him. Right. Like yo, he really out here. Changing lives, making a difference. That's crazy. Like I said, with your events you out here doing, kids coming out, they looking up to you. Like kids really depend on you. Like yo, like you, 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 dad to some kids. Yeah, bro. Like, and I think about how my dad is in my life. Like, know what I mean, that's the, the goat. That's oh the, yeah, that's the OG. The goat, right? And for somebody to call you that, like yo, you think about the magnitude of like how much they believe in you or count on you. And it's like yo, these kids watching, bro. Definitely. Everything you do. I always try to remind myself, like, yo, these kids is watching, bro. So even from social media, I try to watch everything. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, still, I'm still me, me. But it's like, yo, I try to watch what I do, even if it ain't for, like, for me, it's for a kid. Like, I'm boy, 30 boy. now. I'm grown. I'm like, yo, I could do this, but I'm like, yo, little homie that's 10. You know what I mean? He watching me, like, yo, Tommy doing it. That's what I'm like. I'm about to carry it that way. Oh, I'm yeah, like, bro. As soon as he got in here, like one of my young boys, they, they was in his commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He did I said, as soon as I came through the door, he was nah, standing right he there. He texted me, bro. As soon as he came, he's like, yo, you coming too? I see Mr. Mr. Raymond in here. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I was blessed. I was born into a situation. I'm like, yo, I had a thousand role models. My pops had guys going to college. Yeah, like, yeah, I saw yeah. it. That's all I knew. So I'm thinking, like, okay, this is how life is. I hit the streets and, like, oh, these little homies don't have that. <laughs> bro, yeah, so I'm like, yo, you know what I they don't do have? What they, what? they don't have black male role models, bro. Yeah. Straight like that. The ones they do, so it's like they fill in that gap. That's relatable. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing. So even when you talk about like, yeah, that holds a lot of weight, them calling mm -hmm. me pops. On the back end of that, there's a lot of pressure with that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and pressure, you know what I'm saying, it builds this it builds the, the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like it's not it's not something that I'll run from, but it's one of those things where you like, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I, I got somebody that's putting this much weight mm -hmm. on me, so I gotta understand too. Like I gotta keep bettering myself mm -hmm. as a man. Keep looking at what it is that they're aspiring to. Why are they gravitating to what I'm doing? Because yeah, I was a I was a long term sub for fourth grade at Cary Elementary. Shout out to Cary Elementary. Yeah. They they made two teachers quit. Right. Their oh, teacher good. quit. Yeah. Fourth grade made their teacher quit. Then another teacher that's came for crazy. A day. Came for a day. Grade, came for a day. Made her quit. They called me like. We, we got a job you. for you. We need you. And they was like, yo, it's a Send rough butt. The hey, <laughs> it's a rough butt. Yes, like, I came in there and they tried to give you that hard time, bro. I'm like, they ain't, first of all, they don't have male teachers like that. Yeah, yeah. Second of all, they don't have nobody that can relate. Some days I wear the J's and I had a pointy toes on. Then I come back the next day with the J's. And they like, yo, you got the J's? Yeah. I'm like, bro, what you think I was born yesterday? Like, come yeah. on, we've been doing this. But like, yo, by the end of the school year, bro, like I almost felt like they was like my nieces and my nephews in there, bro. 
And they was like, they used to look forward to getting to school because they was like, yo, we ain't got this kind of role model right. or this figure at the crib. And they be like, they be like, like other kids trying to come to my class now, like, yo, they start I'm calling me coach. coach. They really? like, yo, coach, you trying to come to your class? Like, okay, and I'll be like, what? man, what? Like, you, you, you can't look at, at <laughs> yeah. somebody's, what you define as success, success and yeah. automatically equate that with it being easy, bro. Like, like, when, people, when that happened? People, people love to assume, like, I just, especially I, with you, bro. Yeah, I, I just, know you on a personal facts, basis, bro. Bro. Like, I, know it's a home, I was talking to my man Wig, and I'm like, bro, the day if I ever drop the movie and I tell the when, story, when you drop, when I drop the movie, you got speak to the Because you know, IG and everything is the highlight reels. People think, oh, this happened, this happened. Like, in between those wins, bro, was some L's. Hey, that was beautiful. You might got to use that with the kids. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's my highlight reel. Yeah. Yeah. IG is the new highlight, highlight reel. Like, That's what it is. It's like, boom, boom. Oh, he winning, he winning. Like, nah, check the time between those posts, bro. Yeah. It was some major L's in there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> But, uh, it's a pleasure, fellas, for y'all to be here. Um, I'm going to talk about my story briefly, and we can get into some Q&A, because I really want to talk to you guys and get questions that you know y'all got to ask. But, uh, <clears throat> so, and I never had, I really never planned on being, you know, in the clothing industry, fashion. It kind of happened organically. I'm just proud to be from Looper News, Virginia, so I made a shirt that said, I'm so Looper News when I was in college. And uh, I was wearing it, and um, I actually took it from Lil Wayne, he's from New Orleans. He used to say, I'm so New Orleans, so I thought I was a rapper. I'm like, I'm so Looper News, and put that on the shirt. And from there, people started paying attention to it, and fast forward, eight years later, I got a real brand out here that people you know, like to wear, and it means something to them above that. Because guess how many people want to be football players out there? A lot. Guess how many basketball players there are out there? Guess how many clothing lines there are out there? A lot. So millions, fellas. Millions. With social media, I mean, they're everywhere. So what separates you? So the little things. It ain't it ain't the big, it's the little things, the details every day, the things that you do, and the decisions you make that allow you to put you in that situation. I'm standing here 30 years old today saying, like, okay, I made some smart decisions. I made some bad ones too. Luckily they weren't you know, detrimental to my life and my career to stop me from being here. But I got some homies that had the same vision and they made decisions and now they're not here no more, or they locked up, or they're just in a bad situation. All because they made bad decisions. And every day we face with what? Decisions. And you wake up, as soon as your eyes open, every day is a decision. Or sometimes you gotta do something and that costs 2000 They say, hey, you need this permit and it costs $2,000. But if you ain't got $2,000, it's about finding ways to, you know, get around and work and just find a way. So, but yeah, obstacles come every day. They're not going away, ever. <laughs> That's a great question. Okay, okay. What kind of music do you do? I do rap music, mainly about the society that hasn't changed. Are you, you want to be successful in music? Yeah. So you confident in yourself? Yeah. My man, let's get six bars right now. Right yeah, now. Uh, how you going to talk about my friends and family when you know it, you ain't happy, when you know it, when you have I ain't getting to see my daddy. People know what stuff that happened. I was born from the hood. Had to fit my friends' family. Mm, my man. Come on, man. Did y'all hear what I heard? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, Jay Z at any level, right? But just imagine if this was like a, an opportunity or audition yeah. for you, right? Do any of y'all know? Do y'all know each other? Yeah, not, none of y'all know each other, right? Do y'all know each other's names? I think that would be good, yeah, you know what I mean? Y'all two is, uh, I, I love kiddos in middle school, I'm in eighth grade. The things I like to do is drawing because it makes me focus, mm -hmm. concentrate more. I never loved, I never loved to uh, draw. It's something I, like, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life mm -hmm. when I was a little kid, and like the drawing really made me go back to my own world, mm -hmm. and, uh, focus on my work, focus at school, you know. Okay, let's do it. Before you say anything, I saw my homie play basketball last night. He gets buckets. Okay. <laughs> he gets buckets. I ain't gonna lie, when he came out, I said, he was love the size. And he got that ball, he went <laughs> to the cup. I said, yo, homie, nice, man. I was wondering what you call the eighth grade or Doja and uh. And your Doja Dragon? Now with the Doja. I know. Yeah, I'll see Jimmy back up for you. Later, I'm making shirts for cities all across the world, fellas. And I never had this plan, and it's a beautiful thing, and it's growth, and it's a new passion for me. And now that I can take that same competitive spirit I had in sports, 
and I could put it towards this clothing line saying, I'm gonna be the best clothing line in the world. I'm gonna be the biggest, I'm gonna have the dopest, I'm gonna have everybody wearing it. And it, for me, it may be clothes, for you, it may be being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a rapper, it's other things. So that's what we're here to talk about. And any questions, I know I've been rambling, but any questions that you guys have about, you know, steps to take, being at events like this, meeting artists, meeting somebody else that's in the industry, that's on the big screen, that's rapping, that has albums out, stuff like that. <coughs> it's like, you would've never, if you're not here, you, you can't be in that circle. You gotta put yourself in places, surrounded by like-minded individuals. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all feel me? Yeah, yeah real, like, and like, at that age, I think the biggest thing I did at y'all age, I listened. For one, I had a dad that was kind of beating into my head, not literally, but I listened to what people who made it were saying, because I'm like, yo, they got the recipe. Okay, come on, right here. Yeah, Star wide receiver. Who cares? I don't even know. Ah! Go, 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 go. Come on. How did he win? He probably won. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry